Hello, everybody. So thank you. Hello. For hello, hello. Um, Excellent. So let me share my screen and then present the Excel file. Um, so can you see my screen? Yes. All right. So, so uh, as Mauro was explaining, um, uh, this is the, the sequence for the rooms. Um, and uh, the idea is that we um, decide flexibly how to use the 10 minutes. Um, so we would start with uh, Dimitri uh, and following by Eric. Um, yeah, Lucas um, uh, and I will be um, having a look at the time. And um, if you wish, uh, we can give you, um, let's say, uh, a, a, a signal, a signal, um, like yeah, two minutes before your time ends. And uh, yeah, then I will stop, stop my sharing and uh, hand over to Dimitri for the first presentation for your 10 minutes. Yeah. All right. Can you, can you just, uh, hi, everybody. Uh, can you just confirm that you can hear, hear me well? I think I can. Hold we it. cannot hear you very well. Is your microphone? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Uh, Maybe you can put your microphone um, a little bit closer. Is it better? It's a bit better. Yeah. Yeah. Better now? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Um, hi, everybody. Uh, Dimitri, I'll be presenting Kadam and Beam. I'll probably spend maybe five minutes um, uh, a PowerPoint presentation and then, I'll, and then five minutes giving you a demo of the platform. So I'll share my screen. Okay, hopefully you can see this. So Cardano Beam, a GPS-based assets on the Cardano blockchain. Uh, what is it? Uh, it's a platform that rewards users for their physical presence at a certain place at a certain time. And the rewards can be NFTs, ADA, or any, any other token on Cardano. And physical presence is anywhere on the world map. Uh, who is it for? It's, it's for anyone who ever wants to incentivize someone else to be at a certain location out of need or out of love. It's a form of location-based nudge uh, that alters behavior without significantly changing economic incentives. Uh, it can be used by event organizers, business advertising, governments, lifestyle and gaming, think of Pokemon Go here, parcel deliveries, and many other. Uh, and how do we do it? Well, we split the world map into squares of three by three meters, and each square has its own smart contract. And then we built all the infrastructure around it to make this possible. So we've built a web app that runs on the desktop and that people can access and use to place assets on the world map. And then we've also built a mobile app that sits in the user's pocket well, and as they walk around and they go to those locations, they redeem the assets. And we've also built the smart contracts and all the backend infrastructure. So we were funded in fund eight and we will be delivering our app uh, on the mainnet at the end of September. And we'll run a test event um, at the end of October, the 29th of October, where we will um, cycle for 200 kilometers between Lisbon and the Algarve, will be six of us. And um, we, we really would encourage all the community to follow and see how we progress. There'll be um, a use case for, a real world use case for, for NFTs here. So only, only people who have uh, a cycling, cycling, cycling jersey NFT in their wallets can redeem the assets that are placed on the map. So I'll show you a little bit of a demo of how the app works and how you can participate in that event. We've launched the app on the testnet, and if you go to cardanobeam.app, you'll see it there. Uh, it's a fully functioning app. Then if you launch the web app here, it will open something like this. Uh, it's a, a, usual, um, a usual map in Lisbon, that's where I'm based. And uh, on the map, you will see um, colorful icons. These are smart contracts placed at GPS locations with assets inside of them. So for example, if you click on one of them, it will read the blockchain and see that at this particular place, we have a smart contract with this address, with these GPS locations, 
uh, with a list of items locked at different UTXOs and the conditions that the people need in order to redeem them. So they need to come within 50 meters of the location. They need to hold at least one token on, of this policy ID, and they have to come there before August 2099. So they have a lot of time. Um, there's many assets placed here. So what I will just go to another location as this is be, this will be the place where we'll be starting from. And what you can do during the event is you can connect your wallet to our app and click on any of the checkpoints and add more assets to that location. This is this is the functionality that we've been that we've built completely from the ground up. Uh, it's as unique as far as we know for Cardano and uh, any other blockchain. And this permits to lock assets in smart contracts at GPS locations. So I just when I clicked add more to that location, it opened up uh, some information about the smart contract, as well as giving me the option to add more. So in this case, I'll just, in an example, add, well, let's say 15 ADA to that location. I will submit it. And it will ask me for the password. This is uh, the test net, so I'm not revealing anything. I will sign the transaction and this will be submitted to the blockchain. And now I have to wait for the next block to come for it to, for it to be recorded on the blockchain. It can take anywhere between one and 20 seconds to process. So this was quick. Uh, here's the transaction hash. And my 15 ADA was added on the blockchain. Now, what will happen on the 29th of October is that we will be using our mobile apps, uh, which we developed as well. I will try to show it to you. This is the mobile app. Uh, I'm writing on an emulator. To open up, this is what you will see. And the user of the mobile app sees the assets that are in front of him. Now, as if you, when you are on the web app, you will see the users that are active, and you'll be able to activate them and see where they are. So this is this is a live tracking functionality where you will see us going by on the road it, towards the south of Portugal, and you can literally drop money in front of us or NFTs. So. Uh, there can be any tokens added in you know, assets that I have in my wallet. So I can go and add more tokens. And this can be NFTs. Uh, you can also see what is the content of the wallet of the people who are participating. So this is the, the wallet of that, that, that person. You can see it has, it has some ADA, some Hosky points. Um, yeah. And you can use this to condition uh, who has the right to pick up uh, the rewards so, because you can um, configure the smart contract so only certain people have access to the rewards. Now, this is great. We've been very productive and we've delivered this at the end of October. We'll finalize our fund eight uh, um, budget and we'll be we will promise to deliver. Um, let's go back to the, to the presentation. This. Now, um, we've been sort of talking to uh, businesses about this, and they, they, they really love the idea of having assets at GPS locations and the fact that you're connecting the real world to the blockchain. Their concern is they don't want to deal with um, crypto wallets. They just want an interface where they can put the credit cards and fund their account. So for Fund 9, we, are, uh, we want to build um, a private area with a fiat on ramp so a corporation can go and just um, charge um, some dollars into their account and start placing assets on the map. We've also built an Android version of a mobile app. We haven't uh, built a fully functioning Apple version. It's in the working, but it's not finalized. So we're asking for additional funds to build an Apple version. And we recognize that there's a, there's a possibility for GPS spoofing. 
uh, we control to a large extent by only um, distributing rewards to people who already have an NFT in the wallet. So an event organizer can track the people who have that particular NFT. Right? But uh, to make this anonymous, and so anybody can use the app and just walk around picking up the assets, we need to, to do a little bit more work on protecting this against GPS proofing. There are many ways to do this. Uh, we have a, a, a centralized database of Wi-Fi points, which we can cross-reference. Uh, that's, that's the next step. And the last step is utilizing some kind of like a helium network to send transactions to you. Uh, we also uh, need to improve the UX UI. Um, the, um, and we have a, we have a, a company, a, lo a local agency who's, who's gonna work with us on that. And we wanna spend some time doing business development with corporations. Um, we have we received good feedback, corporations are interested. They need people to sit with them to demo and to explain how they can get involved. So that's the, the capitalist uh, idea scale link, the website and a few more useful links. Uh, thank you for your time. I'll, I'll hand it back to you now. Um, sorry, can I ask you to share that link on the chat, please? I'd be curious to make a copy of it. And um, could you just talk one minute about the real use cases in terms of why institutions may use this product? Just very briefly, please. Yeah, so for um, uh, event organizers, so someone like um, organizing a marathon or Tour de France, not, not that level, but some might be a level below, somebody organizing uh, a cycling event, uh, can organize this much more efficiently using this app than uh, have the infrastructure required to uh, do it physically. Okay. So, uh, and then uh, you can have um, cafes and restaurants, for example, that are located very far from the, from the beaten, beaten path. They might want to attract visitors. They can place tokens next to their next to themselves. Mm -hmm. so people see, see rewards on, on the phone and go there maybe have a coffee, maybe look at the view. Um, because uh, when, when exercising, I usually find a problem, I don't really know where to go. <laughs> and if somebody gave me an incentive to go one way rather than the other, I'll probably go there. So uh, there are- Okay, there are, uh, thanks so much. Cool. Cheers. Um, Ricardo? Yes, um, so we move now to the second presentation. Um, Lucas, do you have the overview? I am having trouble uh, yes. recording for the other room. Yeah, I have uh, Eric Duneau next with one yeah. crypto pass. Hi, it's me. Hi, Eric. Oh, nice yeah. to have you here. Thank Go you. Go for it. Cheers. Okay, thank you. You see my screen? Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, one crypto pass is about uh, securing your seed phrases. So the question, I mean, we want to onboard uh, millions and hundreds of millions and uh, possibly a billion users on crypto, but uh, we want to ask them to have their, their uh, self-custody wallet, but it comes with great uh, responsibility and great risk. So uh, I did a little experiment uh, just two, less than 10 days ago. I, I was part of the uh, meetup uh, in London. Uh, so it's uh, Cardano meetup. We were with like uh, very, uh, let's call it hardcore Cardano fans and, and people. And I asked them, you know, how do you secure your, your seed phrase? And um, half of them, they write it down on paper. So basically they're going to get out. Another uh, nearly half, they put it on uh, the cloud. So Azure, uh, AWS, Google Cloud. So they're going to get active and faster than the ones on paper. Uh, and one guy said, uh, no, what he did is um, he engraved it in a, <laughs> on a metal sheet. So I just was very, very surprised. Uh, so frankly, uh, so the the, 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 the the seed phrase for those who don't uh, know what it is, is uh, the little words that you're given at the onboarding on your uh, crypto wallet. And this is what uh, gives access to your crypto wallet. Anybody having your seed phrase has access to all your funds. So you should never share this key. So basically, what is the problem? The problem is first, so I, I say it's 15 words, could be 20, 24 or 12 words, but basically they should never come close to the internet. You are at risk. Second, 
they should never be stored in plain text. You are at risk. And the last thing is they, they, they should be convenient. You should be able to access them conveniently uh, within seconds. So how do I uh, store my uh, C-trace like this? So in fact, this is a, a fully encoded QR code. Uh, I've got it on paper. So I store it on paper, but nobody can see and can decode what it is inside. So I'm going to show you how I, I decode it. And so I've, I've, I've built like, a, let's call it a prototype of what this proposal is for, where basically I'm the only one who can decode this QR code. So I'm going to use my phone with this app. There's an app here on the phone. I'm going to scan. Scanning this QR code, it says it's swipe. I'm going to swipe and you see what's behind. And this is a way to store all your crypto seed phrase, all your passcodes, all everything is in, which is important, which is not going uh, to the internet, which is fully encrypted and which is uh, not uh, viewed in plain sight. I mean, you can, you can look at this QR code in plain sight, but what will you do with it? So this is the project. Uh, and and uh, really the, the, the big idea is, uh, um, is that if, if everything we provide for, for onboarding the, the next billion users is just one click away from a hack, uh, we should not get surprised that uh, the, the, the crypto community is, is reaching a pause in user adoption. So what I propose in this proposal on top of the technology and the app and it's, it's fully open source, um, is also to, to develop some tutorials and to brand it Cardano so that we promote Cardano as well uh, as part of this uh, uh, initiative to be a, a really a positive force for onboarding the next billion users. And this is what this proposal is about. Uh, I left quite a lot of time for any questions, but I can go more deep into the technology and uh, where I am in the prototype, etc. But I think it's possibly better to, to, to leave some time for questions. And by the way, the proposal is here. And just uh, not sure if you see. There's no question. <laughs> so we still have three minutes roundabout, right, Lucas? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Just about that, yes. Any questions from anyone at all? I would have the question, where do we see the biggest risks uh, for the implementation and adoption of the INCENT initiative? Here, for the implementation, uh, I think the risk is extremely, extremely minimal because I've already developed it, but I developed it as a Web2 application. So mm -hmm. it's uh, with a, a database and uh, it's, 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 it's a Web2 world, basically. Mm -hmm. and, but the app, you can download it. It's on the App Store on Android as well. Now, okay. the thing is, nobody's going to trust me that uh, you can enter your crypto uh, passcodes and I'm not going to store them anywhere or do anything bad with them. So this is why I want to redo the study app, but now in, in a web free world, there will be no database behind, it will be fully open source. Uh, and it, so it's, it's a repurposing of what exists already, but in a web free world. Okay, great. Any other question? Well, thank you. I, I have to jump on another uh, room after because I have another <laughs> this proposal to to to, okay. to pitch after. So so I just wanted to make sure I have uh, uh, describe it as as a in a condensed way, but in a, a good Maybe, way. Maybe uh, drop us a link before you go. And uh, yes. thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, thank Cheers. you, and and don't take offense if I jump out because I, I need to go. Go on for the it. One. Good luck. <laughs> thank you. Cheers. Cheers. So. Uh, next, we have Nata Natalia, sorry, Nathaniel uh, Duamina uh, presenting Ubuntu Biz Reg and Accounting App, DAP. Do we have, Nat uh, sorry, I think I jumped one. I, I meant uh, we have Darlington it's presenting Swahili Learn to Earn. We have Darlington in the call. We don't have neither, do we? Okay, uh, so let's check. Gisela, Usama, 
in Zuhair. Hi, Usama is here. Okay. Maybe you go for it. Okay, okay. So maybe let's preserve the order. You, If you're looking at the document, the sheet, I'm just reading it from top to bottom. And maybe let's go for, uh, Us sorry, let me check. Giselle first. first. Yes. Okay. okay. Ready? <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes. Cheers. Okay, I have I have two accounts. Uh, I don't know if I have uh, permission with the other one to share screen. You mean to share? Uh, you should be able to share. I uh, open it yeah. for everybody. Yeah. All right. Yep, it's loading. Yep. Okay. All right. So first of all, I want to thank the uh, European Cardano community for giving us the opportunity uh, to share our online proposal with the community. My name is Isela Rosa. I'm the co-founder of Adalink. And I'm going to present to you today our proposal called SPOs and NFTs, a decentralization tool. Uh, what we intend to create with the platform is an affiliate network uh, where NFT projects or wheels can create alliances with SPOs uh, to, help when, uh, to help them with the marketing uh, side of their pools and uh, share the SPOs uh, margin rewards as commission rewards for their work in a fair manner. Uh, so with this in mind, Adalink will be the first platform that will connect SPOs with delegation promoters. Um, so now I'm going to show you a short video that explains in detail our proposal, and then I'm going to share uh, more relevant information. Let me know if you can see the... Is the audio working for the other participants? It no, was it was hear. initially, but no, no, I can't no. hear anything. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The audio was just working while you had your uh, microphone open. So maybe you can leave your microphone open, and we can hear oh. it through there. Okay. Did you know that forty-two percent of the no, sorry, that wasn't a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Maybe, uh, Gisela, uh, when, when you uh, start your sharing, if you see uh -huh. on the lower left corner, uh, there is a, a button that says uh, share audio uh, and okay. optimize for streaming. Uh, the two boxes, if you tick them, um, should be better. Did you know that 42% of Cardano's SPOs have less than 2 million ADA in active stake needed to sustain their pools long term? What would happen to our network if they fail? Not everyone has the technical knowledge or capabilities. Struggle with visibility many times resulting in them having to retire their pools. With the goal of making tools that help push Cardano's decentralization, we would like to present AdaLink a platform that will help SPOs succeed by connecting them with NFT projects and whales to form alliances. We call these allies delegation promoters. AdaLink will provide both NFT projects and whales the ability to promote delegation to a particular pool and share SPO margin rewards in a fair and personalized manner. Remember, we'll use NFT policy IDs to identify the delegation that will come from NFT project allies' promotional efforts. 
Our platform will identify the amount of ADA inside the wallets of the NFT project holders. Cardano has more than 54,000 collections of NFTs with over 6,000 verified projects. NFT projects carry out promotional dynamics constantly. It wouldn't cost them anything to create alliances with SPOs and encourage their holders to delegate to them. On the contrary, with AdaLink, they will be rewarded for it. AdaLink will turn Cardano into the first blockchain to have NFTs with an innate utility, helping promote SPOs and the decentralization of the network. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you uh, an example of the dynamic between the SPOs and its ally. Um, it's important to note that only uh, NFT projects and wells are gonna be able to use the platform as well as the SPOs. Uh, first of all, uh, the SPOs ha uh, has to let the platform know how many epochs are gonna be available. This is the way uh, that the SPOs will be able to make their strategies uh, for which epochs uh, they are willing to share their margin rewards. Uh, from the allies' uh, point of, of view, uh, once they decide which SPO wants to support, they can select uh, the number of epochs uh, they want to work based on the availability of the SPO. Uh, once the ally selects the epochs, the platform will give them an estimate uh, of how much uh, they will generate in commission rewards. Uh, once the ally selects the epochs, the platform, uh, uh, and then, then the ally uh, can make the offer and uh, the SPO uh, is gonna receive the offer with the estimate based on the potential ADA to be delegated to its pool and then decides whether to accept it or, or not. And, at the, and then at the end of each epoch, uh, the platform will, will create a receipt according to the actual amount delegated for the SPO to sign and send the commission rewards to the allies. Okay, now, uh, let's see uh, an NFT project radiography so you can have an idea of how much ADA an NFT project can potentially attract to one pool or one alliance. In the case of uh, C project with its collection first arrivals, uh, we collected this data on July 11th of this year and the ADA in wallets of the holders was 1.2 million ADA. In the case of Oli Bros, in between season one and season two, was 6.8 million. And in the case of Disco Solaris, uh, was 8.8 .8 million. So considering that the, the fact that the uh, current 42% of pools don't have the 2 million in delegation that they need to sustain their pools long term. And then this amount of AIDA that NFT projects can move around, uh, we can believe that can be a significant difference uh, for a struggling pool. All right, let's see uh, some use cases that the platform can offer. Uh, we have to we believe that we have to prepare our ecosystem for the future. Imagine that in five to 10 years, uh, Cardano is as big as Bitcoin network with more than 1 million SPOs. Uh, we are thinking how small pools are going to compete against potential big players coming into our space, like large companies, uh, with the ability to, to offer products to their st stakeholders. Uh, we believe that having a tool like Alalink, uh, we can provide the ability for uh, creative people uh, to promote the smaller pools. Uh, 
So with this key is that they are receiving a fair incentive for doing the, this collaborative marketing work. So let's see one use case. And in this case, uh, we have NFT projects. Any NFT project can promote an ally pool by incentivizing its uh, collections with uh, collection holders with uh, giveaways, tokens, uh, or other products. We have uh, many su uh, successful examples in the ecosystem of NFT projects operating uh, their own pools like RatsDAO, Yumi, the Pixel, Clay, Disco Solaris, GoTrap, and in the case of Hosky, uh, it's rock pools, right? And uh, what happened with this, uh, not all the NFT projects have a uh, strong one. Uh, with the technical skills on the team who can operate a pool. In the same way, having an operator in, the, in their team is trusting that th that person uh, will dedicate solidly on that, uh, on that task with the name of, of the brand for long periods of time. For some, this may, may be inconvenient. With Alink, they will have access to pull rewards without having to have a long-term commitment to a particular operator. Let's see another use case. In this use um, case- just, uh, Gisela, yeah. you're really, really tight on your time. Just keep it very brief right. so you can, and maybe we can go back to it okay. if we have time in the end or questions, okay? It's okay. <laughs> Well, with this, Adaling will turn Cardano into the first blockchain to have NFTs with an innate utility, helping promote SPOs and the decentralization of the network while getting rewarded for it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Gisela. Um, again, drop us a link for your project so we can, uh, I will, I'm trying to keep a note of everything because I'm finding them all very interesting. Cheers. All right. Thank you. <laughs> sure. Okay, so uh, next we have Husama. You're ready to present? Yes. Yeah, okay, so Usama will be presenting first Peak Chain Cardano Car Wallet Device. Uh, exactly, but uh, I think I have uh, 20 minutes for uh, two post proposals, but I yes. have four proposals. I found out for four proposals. So <laughs> I, yeah, I will ask for, yeah. So I yes, I have you here for two just... slots. I have you here for two slots. Yeah. I was talking about yeah, the first one, which is the. I would like to. Pre I have one presentation for four proposals for all proposals. Mm -hmm. So I suggest to present all proposals in twenty uh, minutes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Go for that. Okay. So. Your microphone is uh, a little bit uh, low. Uh, maybe you can increase it. My microphone, okay. Yeah. So if you could come a little bit closer, what, that would help. Okay. And now could you see my screen? We can see your screen, could yes. You, could you hear me better maybe? Mm. No. Yeah, um, I mean, it, it's okay. I think we can go second. ahead. Okay. Okay, thank you. Just uh, a minute because uh, I'm using the uh, my iPad, my tablet, and a uh, little bit tricky now. Okay, so yeah, thanks a lot. Uh, so my name is uh, Osama bin Mahmoud. So maybe my name is Osama. I'm not uh, yeah originally European. I am originally from Tunisia. So I am part from of the uh, Nina region, Middle East and North Africa, but I am also German. I live since 10 years uh, uh, in Germany. And yeah, today I will present Big Chain Connected Car Project. And another thing also, I, I am now in here in the hotel with my family, with my kids and my wife. So yeah, maybe when you hear some yeah, noises or uh, something, then yeah, uh, uh, please, uh, sorry for that. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I am the CEO of Pixel on and I'm also the founder of PicChain. 
And we have submitted four proposals in the, uh, the current fund nine in challenge TAPS products and integration. So how did we come up with this idea? We have noticed that the majority of projects in the crypto space are about DeFi, NFT, and so on. And there is a need of real life utility use cases in order to attract more people to the Cardano ecosystem. And um, in fact, mobility services like car sharing and ride sharing are increasing in popularity, not only in Germany and Europe, but also worldwide. And we have noticed that uh, there are few blockchain mobility solutions on the market with very limited features and restricted user bases. That's why we have decided to offer alternative mobility solutions on Cardano. Okay. So we will begin by presenting the problem statement and the plan solution. After that, we will tackle our four projects, which are the PicChain car wallet device, the car sharing platform, the fleet management platform, and the ride sharing Uber Life platform. Next, we will discuss the implemented prototype, which represents a proof of feasibility for the project. Finally, I will present some information about our company, Pix of GmbH, and our peak chain team. First, we will begin by presenting the current challenges that we want to overcome by implementing our mobility solutions on Cardano. All mobility platforms existing on the market are centralized solutions. This brings potential risk. First, sensitive user data like trip data could be tracked hacked or even abused by the service provider. Second, users are paying high fees. Yeah, and um, yeah, the, the other thing is the Web2 solutions such as Uber are exclusively governed by centralized entities. This can lead to enforcement, enforcement of unpredictable rule changes. This includes, for example, uh, for example fee changes. Now we move to what we have planned as solutions for the previously mentioned risks. Our solution could be, uh, could be summarized as follows. We will offer an alternative decentralized mobility solution by leveraging Cardano blockchain technology. This will not only ensure data privacy and security, but also provide transparency and improve user trust. We should also notice that mobility as a sector is one of the largest and fastest growing by market size and user number. Ultimately, this will increase the adoption of Cardano. Big chain mobility platforms will have similar architecture because we have a limited presentation time for today. So we'll explain the detailed architecture, architecture of just one solution which is the big chain car sharing platform. The platform consists of five unique components. Sorry for the notes, <laughs> the live, yeah, uh, live from the hotel. The platform consists of five unique components as you see in the screen. First, the hardware component, we can boost road trip data, for example, mileage, speed, timestamp, etc., are retrieved directly from the car through the OBD2 port and transfer to PicChain server through a dedicated SIM. The second component, which is the data decoding and processing. A suitable database will be used to decode road trip data. The third component, which is the vehicle wallet component. A transaction is submitted to the Cardano blockchain, uh, which includes the vehicle and trip data. Fourth component, which, which is the car sharing smart contract which is a peer-to-peer -peer contract between the vehicle and the customer. Service costs, I mean the car sharing service costs will be automatically calculated once the trip ends. Next, the fees are transferred from the customer wallet to the car wallet without any third party interaction. The first component, which is the web app component. The web app functionalities include the following, vehicle and customer registration, trip start and end, uh, trip history, cost information, and other data. Okay. In the near future, 
all IoT devices will offer an embedded wallet. Trustless peer-to-peer -peer communication with the blockchain and with other IoT devices or customers is possible. Cars are, of course, IoT devices. That's why our plan is to build a vehicle hardware wallet serving as a critical component for all connected car dApps. As you see in the diagram, our goal is to replace the peak chain server with the peak chain car wallet device. This is the future architecture after building the first uh, version of the first iteration of the product. And of course, this will deliver an optimal decentralization of our solution. And that's what and that's why we need, <coughs> sorry, the peak chain car wallet device that we will present now. Okay, the peak chain car wallet device, you can find the proposal on the Catalyst Fund 9 campaign, that's uh, products and integration. Moving forward, the device will offer the following functionalities. The car connects to the hardware directly through a dedicated OBD2 port. This port exists, of course, the OBD2 port, I mean, in almost every car, or every car, of course, is a standard in the industry. The hardware retrieves also sensitive data from directly from the vehicle, like vehicle speed, time, engine, RPM, etc. It decodes, I mean, this hardware decodes and processes the road trip data. And of course, when it uh, when this hardware gets the sensitive directive from the car without any third party, without any interaction with any app. The, hard, uh, the hardware is connected to the internet through an embedded SIM card and the hardware is connected to the Cardano blockchain by submitting transactions. And uh, the device manages, of course, the car wallet. Okay. Of course, this peak chain hardware car wallet will help unlocking multiple mobility use cases for the Cardano blockchain. Some of the application domains of the device are remote software updates, insurance, electric vehicles, car sharing services, fleet management, ride sharing, like Uber platform. That means this car, where, uh, car wallet device, peak chain car wallet device, we will not use it exclusively for the car sharing and fleet management, but it will be uh, will be used in other use cases. Okay, now we move to the car sharing platform. You can find the proposal on the Catalyst Fund 9, uh, of course, the same uh, campaign that products and integration, and we have already discussed the details Detail, details of the implementation of the uh, architecture of the first iteration and future, future iterations of the platform. And next, we will tackle the second use case, which is the uh, ride sharing or Uber like platform. So, you can so you've presented proposal. two proposals by now, is that it? Uh, yes. I okay. So I'm, the, I'm happy uh, to tell you you're, you're right on time. Okay. Ten uh, minutes for the I other have, two. Okay. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, I cool. have the account counting when I have uh, eight minutes, but okay, I will uh, ten minutes. Right. Will finish, okay. Yeah. Maybe if you want you to take find, questions, uh, if you can, maybe that would be interesting. I, I think it's better because the, um, it's better to uh, yeah to finish the whole presentation. Yes, I meant in the end. Okay. Yeah. Uh, of course. Of course. Yes. So you can find the proposal on the Catalyst Online, the top uh, product and integration. The ride sharing services mark size is growing worldwide. However, much like um, car sharing, users should control their, their data entirely. That's why we have to implement the a decentralized Uber-like platform. The complete solutions consists of uh, five main stages. We will design the solution architecture and build both the web application and apps on Android and, Android and iOS, iOS. Second, we will create and deploy an economic model that provides true value and competitivity. Third, we will focus on building a sustainable community by, by incentivizing users and solution contributors. Fourth, once completing the technical solution, we will proceed to test through uh, various global users and incentivize them. Fifth, we will offer the device ready for integration in, uh, uh, in other uh, use cases. 
Okay, the fleet management platform. Uh, logistic companies must monitor fleets to reduce fuel consumption and optimize driving behavior and trajectory. Fleet management data is the vital, uh, vital uh, of, of course, information for developing a business. This data should always remain confidential as security or privacy concerns could impact competitivity of, uh, of businesses. Now we will move to the prototype in order to prove the feasibility of our all projects. We have successfully implemented a prototype. We can proudly announce that we have the first car connected to the Cardano blockchain. We have configured, configured a special device to retrieve the raw vehicle data through the OBD2 port. We have also configured a testing server, including a running Cardano node and special script for decoding and processing raw data and submitting transactions. Once a trip ended, the transaction was submitted automatically to the blockchain. Our testing server has calculated the maximum reach speed and the timestamp when it was reached and submitted it to the blockchain. As you, you can see, the data is in the testnet. And of course, uh, here you can see it. It's not uh, it's not uh, hashed or decoded. Just for uh, I can say for an example or prototype to show the how it works. This will serve as proof of feasibility for the project and help further developing the solution. It's worth mentioning that Pickchain brand is launched by Pix of GmbH, a software development company based in Germany. You can check the all the company details on our website, uh, pick-soft.de, pick-soft.de, and you can see all the details of our company. And moving to to the, I, I think uh, one of the most important points, I believe that trusting the team and the company behind the project is more important than trusting the project and the idea. So the big chain core team consists of six team members. Uh, we are all employees of six of GmbH and we are all based in Germany. Me and Abdurrahim Issa, we are both Bluetooth pioneers, Atala Prism pioneers. We are, um, I have um, uh, a long experience in software quality. I've worked uh, several years by Volkswagen in connected car projects. And Abdurrahim is a lead software de developer and uh, have uh, plus 10 years experience as a software engineer. Uh, Habib Mokni and Mohammed Abdel Ali. Mohammed Abdel Ali has also several years of experience in Volkswagen connected car projects, has also long experience in software quality. And he's an electronic and communication engineer. Habib Mokni, a software engineer for stack development. Naila and Ramla for project management office and responsible for administration, accounting, coordination, and task. Regarding our expertise, uh, I can say that the question here is what makes us the best team to deliver this big project? First, our Cardano expertise. We are Plutus pioneers and Atala and pioneers. We are running a staking pool. Second, our expertise in software development and software quality in big projects. Third, our expertise in project management not only in classic project management, and we are also PMP certified project management professionals, and also in uh, agile methodologies, we are also certified Scrum Master product owner. Fourth, we have several years in experience and practical experience by the, the biggest uh, car company in the world, which is Volkswagen, exactly in connected car projects. Last but not least, we are an established software company in Germany, and of course, Germany is the best environment to implement such automotive project. And that shows me that we can scale uh, very fast. How could you support us? Of course, 
support our project and vote for our four proposals in the current fund nine and delegate to our staking pool, big chain pool, which is a small pool. And of course, share our project and articles on our in, uh, in your social media, provide us with honest feedback. You can also get all your, you can also see all, uh, we have also a lot of uh, blog uh, posts in our uh, medium big chain um, regarding not only the project, but also Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth, or also Bluetooth, uh, 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 Bluetooth content, and so on. You can check also our Twitter account and LinkedIn accounts. And these are some links of our big software company, big chain, big chain tool, medium, and our email. Okay, thanks a lot. Okay, thank you so much, Osama. Um, so we just have three more minutes. If you still, if anyone has questions for Osama, um, it's very interesting all these proposals. By the way, don't forget to drop us links in the in the chat so that people can bookmark and and uh, you know and potentially yes. vote on it. Right? Yes. Um, any any questions at all? I'm pretty sure you can all unmute if you if you want. I don't have any questions. Thank you, Sam. No. Cool. Okay. So in our calendar for today, we had a, a pause, a coffee break. So I'm going to respect that. And uh, I will ask uh, Nathaniel if he's on the call. Meanwhile, he has sent me his slides um, to present after this break. And Zwaid, uh, do you mind if we, we do the, the little break and respect the calendar time? I don't mind. Okay. okay. So we're just going to take 10 minutes of, uh, you know, break, and then we can come back, uh, hopefully to see uh, Zwaid's presentation and Nathaniel as well. And we can use the remaining time to discuss, discuss each other's projects. Cool. Okay. See you at 25, minute 25, okay? So we're now at 14. Good, see you in 10 minutes.
Okay, so welcome back to the second part of the IDEA conference organized by the European Town Hall. Um, so we're going to have Zuair presenting Add Ada to First NFT Marketplace, Mina. Hi, thanks. Hello, Zuair. Welcome. Um, can I just you. ask before you start? With the MENA, yeah. is this an existing metaverse or an existing No, no, MENA, it's a region. It's the Middle okay. East, North Africa. Okay, pardon my ignorance. Now it, now it rings no, a bell. No, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah. Okay, go for it. Cheers. Right. Just, um, just want to share my screen. Can you see my screen? Okay, perfect. So uh, first of all, thank you for the work you're doing and allowing me to present my uh, proposal. Uh, my name is Zuhair Abdin from uh, Nifty Sook. Uh, Nifty Sook is the first and largest NFT marketplace in uh, Middle East and North Africa. Uh, we submitted a proposal for F9 and the title of our proposal is Add ADA to First NFT Marketplace in MENA. Okay, so the problem we're trying to solve is that there is no local NFT marketplace which uh, supports uh, local languages and categories to create and sell uh, NFTs using Cardano. Uh, our proposed solution to the problem is to expand and develop our existing mar NFT marketplace to the MENA region, uh, exposing and enabling a new NFT community on Cardano. Okay, uh, the challenge we are targeting is dApps, products, and integrations. This is because we are delivering a dApp marketplace and integrating Cardano to our platform. Uh, succeeding to do this will allow users to interact with Cardano, which will lead to more feedback, growth, and innovations. Okay, so our proposal contains three major milestones. The first one is the integration of Cardano into our marketplace. Uh, since we are, uh, already have a working product, we do not need to create the entire marketplace from scratch. However, we plan to integrate Cardano using the best skills and methods. The second milestone is acquisition and education of users. Uh, we had great success in providing education services to the MENA community through our existing marketplace. Uh, we now plan to conduct a similar process on Cardano. Last but not least, PR and marketing. Since we are already working on PR and marketing for our current platform, the infrastructure for this phase has already been built. And we plan to keep the same pace with uh, Cardano. So why do we think you should uh, support us? Uh, first of all, the team. Our team is considered as a pioneer in the region when it comes to crypto and NFTs. The second thing is our experience. Uh, we believe that our experience will provide value to the Cardano community and increase adoption. Also, our community, which have uh, we have uh, reached out to many creators and artists since our launch, and we established a special community. Finally, our vision. We have short-term and long-term visions to ensure that Cardano reaches its potential in the region. Uh, we are also happy that we launched our new website recently. We added a lot of features to, to it in order to make our platform easy to use, especially for our region, as there is still little experience here with the technical stuff. I will give you a small tour on our website now. Let me just share my screen again. Okay, so this is our homepage. As you can see, uh, you can explore NFTs in the homepage latest NFTs, latest collections, popular sellers. Uh, we have the biggest community of artists in the MENA region as well. Uh, we try to make the uh, platform as simple as possible. Creating an NFT is very simple. Uh, as you can see, you can choose uh, whatever category you like. Uh, we have two blockchains, Polygon and Ethereum, and we are hoping to add uh, Cardano in the future. Uh, you can select your wallet. We have 
a feature called split royalties and revenue, where you can uh, split the royalties you uh, with your partner, and you can also split the revenue you get from an NFT with uh, your partner as well. Um, you can, of course, list it for sale. You can add it to a collection. Uh, we also added the lazy mint feature. If you, uh, uh, if the creator doesn't have money to create an NFT, uh, the lazy mint feature allows the user to uh, create the NFT uh, without gas. So the uh, the person who buys the NFT will pay the gas fees. Um, we have a section specially for galleries. So we, we, we partnered up with a couple of galleries until now. And we also have the automatic wallet creation feature. Sorry, it's a little bit stuck. The problem is with, with my laptop, not the website, by the way. Um, okay, so we also created an automatic wallet creation feature where once you register to our website, you get an automatic wallet. Uh, uh, there's no need for you, for you to create an, a MetaMask wallet or whatever, an external wallet, for example. Uh, this, uh, this feature was done because not a lot of people in our region know uh, or have good experience with creating a wallet or uh, purchasing uh, crypto and stuff like that. We also added a credit card payment feature where you can purchase an NFT using uh, a crypto or you can use you can buy it using a credit card uh, so this is a quick summary of our new website and i hope you guys like it if you have any questions i am ready to answer thank you thank you so much um so we still have a, a few minutes to answer any questions if anyone dimitri gisela ricardo is probably away from the desk at the sec at this moment um if there's i'm going to no share the link yes of please the proposal in the chat yeah. and also the website if you like to take a look at mm -hmm. it like I said, I am making a note of everything because I am very curious about most of, of or all the projects. I realized I didn't make a note of Osama's links. So I'm just going to copy them now. And uh, I wanted to ask you, uh, Zuair is your surname. So I should say... No, Zuair is my first name. Okay, okay. So I can call you Zuair. Yes. Yes. So um, have you had, uh, how do you see things around standards for NFTs? Because I've been working a bit in NFTs in uh, Cardano and it's a bit a uh, foggy area, a bit ambiguous what the standards are, what's the protocol for, for formats. Do you have this type of experience with the ones uh, you're working with? Honestly, honestly, the team is experienced. I'm not a technical guy, let's say. Okay. Uh, but we have uh, experienced uh, developers in our team who are ready to uh, to implement Cardano on our platform. Mm -hmm. uh, we believe it is possible. Before, yeah. uh, before ap applying for the fund, uh, we made sure that it is possible. So course, I don't yes. think it's going to be a problem, yeah. Yeah, but have you looked, for example, at other platforms that work in the Cardano space? Yeah, of course. Uh, we believe that there is potential in mm -hmm. Cardano NFTs, and we believe in Cardano's mission also, and in what they are doing. So it would be really awesome to add Cardano to our platform. Okay, that sounds great. Um, so this concludes your presentation, I believe. And yeah. uh, we have, we had uh, Nathaniel that was going to join. Um, apparently, he's having connectivity issues, so probably we're not going to be able to see his presentation. Uh, I'm just looking through my notes. So I think what I'll do is I have Nathaniel's presentation here. Bear with me one second. What I'll do. In his, in, in his behalf is copy this URL and drop it in the chat. Yeah, we'll have a look at it. Yeah. Yeah. So this Perfect. was uh, Nathaniel's presentation on Ubuntu, Biz, Reg, and Accounting DAP. 
So it's, it looks very interesting. Most of everything we're building is a bit what I like to call, and it's called in, in business terms, the picks and shovels businesses. Uh, I am interested in, in NFTs as well. And so because we have these, these missing presentations today, I would actually uh, try to invite you to use the remaining time we have until a um, little over, uh, I think, where am I? little over uh, five UTC to like uh, 20 minutes or 30 minutes of open discussion about each other's projects. I'm not sure if you're if you have any questions about Gisela's project, which was the uh, SPO times NF NFTs decentralization tool. We have Zwahir's first NFT marketplace in Mina, and we have still Dimitri on the call who was presenting the GPS-based assets. So as well, since we have a bit more time, if anyone wants to uh, come back on, online and present a bit more about your projects, I think it would be a healthy debate between us. Uh, I honestly don't have any questions, uh, but uh, there are many great ideas in this uh, year's uh, funding. Uh, it's amazing how many proposals there are, and it's really difficult to choose uh, which proposal you can, you want to vote for. Yeah, yeah, I think the, the the possibility to divide your your votings and everything is going to help a lot, and to manage that, maybe we can have Gisela talk a bit more about that. I'm sorry. Maybe, uh, so your proposal is about uh, SPO fragmenting the SPO via NFTs, correct? Yeah. Um, bas um, basically, I was connecting that with the, the voting, but that's maybe not directly connected. Uh, could you talk no. a bit more about mm -hmm. your part, please? About my uh, the proposal, per se? The use cases and, and what it will uh, uh, add yeah. to users. All right, let me... Let me find the presentation. One sec. If you want, I can put back the music that I used in the intermission. <laughs> I'm kidding. Dimitri, hi. Hey. I think yeah. Gisela was serious about taking a minute. So maybe I'm going to ask you, I think I found your app on Testnet. And I've been leading, by the way, let me share my screen, my, my link to my small, small, small project, which I have been starting for the past five weeks. It's called Cardano for non-technical people. Mm -hmm. And we work mainly on Testnet because the concept is as easy as it is to install any any wallet or, or for mainnet, we want to do that even easier because we're just going to play with testnet. And that's why I'm pretty sure I found your, your solution. And you mentioned a bit about Portugal as well. So are you based close by? I'm in Lisbon. Oh, are you? Oh, I'm yeah. in Lisbon as well. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm in Cascais. Okay. Right. I'm in Santarém actually, just a, a bit away, but it's very, very uh, feasible for us to meet. Yeah, that's very close. That's good. Um, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I, I really like the test that. So um, I've, uh, I've I've developed my app first. It was sort of as a web two, and uh, at the end of the year, and then it became web three. And I've been using the test that quite vigorously, uh, and it's very very useful um, because you can you know do many many different things before. Yeah. Sort of thing. And I'm going to a point where uh, I think all I have to do now is just change. Uh, the the pointers to to a mainnet node, uh, and then it uh, it will just uh, yeah go. Mm -hmm. And are you doing this with a team? Are you doing this more by yourself as a developer entrepreneur? Yeah, so it's um I'm doing most of the things myself, maybe seventy eighty percent. 
And then I have uh, a couple of guys helping me. Uh, I have um, Jera from I IOHK. He's, he's, he's helping with the connections or the, the, the marketing and we're trying to get um, businesses on board. He's helping with that. And then I have a, a designer who's local uh, in Lisbon as well. And he's helping with all the design um, to, uh, to design the web app, the mobile app, but the coding, the smart contracts, the, all, all the infrastructure, that's, that's mainly me. I'm, I'm, I'm leveraging a lot of the community for questions. So um, yeah, that has been very useful. Okay, yeah. I'm going to drop my, do you use Discord at all? No, very little. <laughs> Um, Telegram and and uh, Twitter. Mm. Uh, okay, uh, uh, Telegram and Twitter. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop my Twitter on the on the on the chat. And if you could come and reach us, we would be re really happy to help test the tool uh, from the user's point of view. And because, yeah, yeah. like I said, we are focusing just on working on on testnet. Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool. And maybe maybe there's something that you could actually help me with. So I'm I'm doing this event in October, and I would really like to get the word out in Portugal. That's mm -hmm. uh, a Portuguese company sort of building Web3, you know, really sort of high-end um, high technology. Yeah. And uh, it was, um, you know, local media that might be interested in uh, maybe covering the event or just doing an interview. I'd okay. Be, I'd, I'd be happy. So, uh, I'm going to share my, my link there, my Twitter handle, although I don't use Twitter so much, but this is where we need to meet in the middle. Uh, so if you could reach me on Twitter and share, we'll be in, in, in contact. And uh, we're actually hosting, if you actually scroll down on my profile, there's, there it is. I'm going to share this link, which I meant to share with the community since the beginning, but thanks for taking me all the way there. Uh, so this is a LATAM uh, community town hall that's organizing a Portuguese spoken um, Twitter space tomorrow. And yeah. you're on it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'll be helping to host that one too. And it would be great if you can come and talk to us on, on that session. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm one of the five people who I think were, were, were on the original invite. Um, uh, yeah. So yeah, I, yeah, I've just, I've just followed you. I think, yeah, I saw, I saw, you, I saw your face as well there. That's okay, a, great, yeah. great. It's good to know people from different realms of, of, uh, of contact and uh, we all meet and we're all rowing in the same direction. Yeah, cool. Cool. So Giselle, do you want to present a bit more to show us a bit more about your platform? Yeah, just uh, the second use case that I was going to talk about. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and it is that uh, influencers can actually use the platform to uh, uh, to help SPOs too. Uh, we see that many NFT collections uh, are being released by artists or products related to the metaverse or for utility utility projects. But we believe that many uh, content creators and influencers will release their own NFT collections in the future. Many of these influencers will not necessarily have the ability or interest to have their own pools. So having a link will be an excellent uh, option for them to capitalize on the engagement uh, they, that they normally generate while participating in the decentralization of the network. Uh, at Cardano, we already see uh, many YouTubers and content creators who operate their own pools, like Benjamin, J Benjamin Cohen, Kaizen, uh, Dangan Bardello. They unfortunately uh, operate multiples uh, because their first pools are satur saturated, right? With Avalink, uh, this kind of people uh, could generate additional income without the need of uh, opening other pools. For example, imagine that a pool of a single operator increases to saturation point instead of compromising decentralization by, by opening another pool, they could launch their own collection of NFTs and promote delegation to other operators who own 
a single stake pool. In this way, your channel, their channel, right, uh, can uh, continue to grow. And at the same time, they will continue to contribute to a better distribution uh, that benefits the ecosystem and its decentralization and security. Really interesting. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, like, like uh, Dimitri was saying, we're all building our own projects. We're all, it's a very big, diverse uh, space. And this, um, I'm now recently started to understand why, you know, any community eventually starts running their stake pool because it's a mm -hmm. source of revenue. And since they are, yeah. you know, they have their personal marketing in, in the space, it's a way for anyone to help them. So it's really mm -hmm. interesting as a facilitator of, of that. And um, I'm looking forward to, to investigate a bit more because as you understand, Thank I'm you. presenting, so I'm still a bit distracted here, but I'm going to yes. go into your presentation in more detail. Uh, one you. thing, I am also starting a project that for now the working title is Ada Inc. So maybe it's going to okay. clash a bit with Ada Link. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's interesting. It's cool. Um, right, guys, I don't want to be just, you know, making you, holding you on, on the call for, for longer if you're okay, if you don't have any more questions. Um, just, what do you I, say? Uh, uh, Pedro, I, I just had one question. I think it was, it was really interesting what Giselle is doing. Um, I had a, so you talked just about there about people who stop launching multiple pools. That's, that, that's a big problem I think, in our community, having multiple, multiple pools by, run by the same person. Uh, so how does, um, how does somebody who has a choice between running an extra pool and uh, launching an NFT collection how does the how does the economics work um, for them? Uh, in why would they decide to um, launch an NFT collection rather than run um, another pool? Another pool. Oh, okay. So the basically uh, uh, the the legation promoters, right? The NFT pirates or whales can promote uh, a stake pool. And the rewards of the margin rewards are gonna uh, are gonna be incentivized to that delegation promoters, and the split is gonna uh, it's gonna be a fair in a fair manner because mm -hmm. it's gonna the platform is gonna split between the uh, delegation that that delegation promoters attract to the pool. So it's going to be proportional to, to the quantity of delegators. I don't know if I, if yeah. I answered the question. Yeah, I think, I think, I think I'm getting there. So, it, so if, if I have a pool and I have a choice of launching another pool or launching an NFT collection, if I launch an NFT collection and somebody buys it and then delegates to another pool, I get to keep part of the fees of the other pool that, that, that generates the fees. Is that is that right? Yeah, I guess uh, the point of the platform is create alliances, uh, so you you can have an extra income uh, okay. supporting all our SPOs. Okay, cool. All right, thanks. Let me see clear. <laughs> hey guys. Hey, uh, welcome. Nice Thank to see you. you. So Great we're just see you. We're, we're just in open questions. We won't be here for for very long, but uh, maybe you want to show us a bit what you're what you're presenting. Very very five minute version. Yeah. Oh okay, awesome. Yeah. yeah. Co commercial commercial ad. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I I will uh, I will skip the uh, the non commercial stuff and uh, and go straight to it. Sorry to to jump to, to throw you right into it, but uh, that's yeah, where we good. are. We've all we've all good. presented Thanks. and Thanks. Uh, yeah. Thanks for coming over. Can you see my screen? Yes. Can you see my screen? Awesome. So um, I I want to I want to just uh, very quickly uh, introduce you to our mentor mentee gigs and bounties and open source uh, uh, crowdfunding that's been funded in Fund Eight. We've been extremely blessed to be able to build the Upwork and Fiverr on Web3. That's uh, that's a brand new DApp that's that's built on Cardano to support Catalyst projects uh, and, and others who are looking for developers, designers, marketers, whoever, uh, 
that you need to build your project, get it to get it to uh, live, and then as well as to to launch. So you know, as as you know, people are expensive. And compensation takes most of the project's budget for the most part. And when you're, um, you know, when you're hiring and recruiting, you're competing with all the big guys, the so Facebook, Google, and Amazon, and others, right? Uh, and people are critical to every every mission success. You know, they they are the ones that are creating the plans, they are executing, coming up with ideas, have the network. And in my experience, building other projects and building a lot of startups. It's all about timeline, budget, and quality, which is the triangle of technical and project death sometimes, or project success, right? And uh, for if some some project is just starting, they really need experienced people, people who are vetted and seasoned, uh, in order for the project to succeed. And those those guys and gals they don't really apply to jobs. So our mission is to, to really uh, decentralize opportunities to connect everyone uh, in a global marketplace of talent and also decentralize learning to give people more, more, more ways to learn, more ways to earn their on-chain reputation and get 1 million self-taught and underrepresented people in tech. And we do this by building the gig and bounty marketplace to help build and grow the right devs or marketing yourself people on budget without sacrificing quality, without compromise. We have a huge database of eight, over 870 million people, uh, which we filter down and vet uh, for any talent, any tech stack that you need to help you deliver quickly. Again, on budget, on your budget. Uh, and, and while we do that, we also connect the people who just wanna learn more about your project and get involved with mentors who actually can complete the project, complete the, the gig and the bounty and help them build their on-chain reputation. Uh, Charles talks about it as an economic identity that will, uh, that will uh, open more doors for them. So companies can go on and quickly create a gig and post a project. We connect people in, in terms of uh, regenerative mentorships uh, and whether it's junior or senior, it's been extremely successful. So we, in our private pilot and program at Snapdrilia, uh, 74 have landed jobs within the last year at big and small companies. And again, we focus on underrepresented and self populations. And two have actual landed jobs, two full-time hires who have landed jobs in the past month after a launch. We built this platform in three months from May and June, when we got funded in funded and launched it in July and August. Uh, within the days, we have first customers. Uh, and within a week here, you can see that, uh, you know, we were able to drive uh, developers to a Cardano uh, NFT project that's called Tangent. Uh, you know, we reached out to about 200 people, 168 actually opened the gig, uh, 96, you know, interacted and 80, 86 joined the conversation. Uh, and in that week, 20 active developers started building for this uh, bounty and gig to contribute to the Tangent uh, Cardano staking, staking portal. And they have made two hires, two full-time hires out of the 20 people. Uh, in order to start, all you need to do is just uh, post a gift. We have a $1,000 or 1,000 ADA minimum uh, and currently our launch promotion is 10% gig fee instead of 20% gig and staffing fee that's coming up uh, post-launch. Here's a testimonial. Tangent claims, their CEO said, we found one really good lady who's a full-stack developer from the dev standard that sent loads of Web2 experience, Web3.2, which is a huge plus. She's in our Slack helping now. We recruited her and one more dev to the full-time team after the successful bounty. We have video testimonials from Ben, as well as uh, as well as Clint, uh, I'm not gonna show them, uh, but that's the commercial, real commercial ad. If you go on our uh, just search Snapdilia on on YouTube, you'll see these testimonials from them and how they have benefited and found people quickly. So for talent and for people who are just trying to break into Web three or or tech, we provide opportunities, we provide work experience, we provide remote learning, on chain reputation. For recruiting, we provide more qualified people who are interested to work in your projects, a better engagement and for hiring and engineering teams. 
Uh, so it's hire fast instead of 45 to 90 days hiring an engineer or designer or salesperson on average, you can hire within 10 days or one week. Uh, and also drive quality hires, hire people who can actually do the work, not just have keywords on their resume and get real work done. We have awesome and super talented team. Of course, uh, here's, here's my co-founders. I'm very blessed and very lucky to have them. All of us had very successful startups in our past and uh, we're all self-taught engineers ourselves. So we, we know uh, what it takes to go from nothing, barely knowing front end to back end to be professional uh, engineering leaders even. And we've been very blessed uh, from the community. Uh, you can see awesome advisors here as well. Uh, Xing Wen, my previous co-founder who has almost 14,000 citations and Mark, um, who, who used to be a, a CTO at, at Microsoft alongside of all the, you know, ed tech education and other partners and other projects that we support. So my call to action, please post the gig uh, to, to hire or to drive adoption and attraction to your platform, right? So you scan our QR code, it's the first link. And, uh, you know, this, uh, this has been funded in Fund 8 already. Uh, we're just working on the closeout proposal. Uh, we have a huge engineering team working really, really hard. And in Fund 8, uh, please consider voting as well. We have a couple of things. We've been very blessed to have really, really high, high ratings across the whole fund. Uh, however, rating is just rating, right? So if you don't vote, it does not count. Thank you for your support and help as always. That's great, mate. I think this is a presentation I've seen more often in, in the spaces, but it's always good to see it because it's like, I was reminding myself of the first time I saw it. I was new to the environment and I'm actually looking for projects myself and uh, it's disorienting. And so to find someone that's available to mentor you and, and to find you gigs and to do that connection, it really helps. So it's always good to collaborate with Snaprilia. Thank you, man. Th thanks so much for Cheers. your support. Uh, I, I try to be uh, involved in the community as much as I can to drive it forward. Cheers. Thanks so much. So um, it was really great to meet everyone. Um, Dimitri, Zahir, Gisela. Ricardo is probably ending his call for Curso because he was juggling between two things. But I think we can end it here and uh, I'll see you around in other communities. Keep in touch um, and all the best. Okay, drop by the, the European town halls if you can. Okay. Yeah, and uh, good luck Thank everybody. You, hope, hope good you luck all everyone. Yes. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.